For the cheapest, safest, fastest coins, Madden, 2K, or FIFA, go to buymmog.com. Use code Q and get your discount. Link is down below. Stop gambling your money on packs. Get the coins you want. You can get coins, or now you can even buy players. We can trade the players over to you. You can quick sell the card, or you can just buy a regular card and keep the card. So stop gambling. Trading players is 100% ban free. Eric Dickerson is finally here. He gets an upgrade. So we're loving it. 95 overall, Eric Dickerson. 95 speed, 6 foot 3, 220 pounds. You already know he has a big build, right? He's He plays way heavier than 220 pounds. And he's he worth 900K I paid for. Bring him to the field and show you. And then at the end, I'm going to compare him to other top running backs. Let you know, is he S tier, A tier? Get a report card on everything he does. But first, let's see his AP setup. So he gets Bruiser Tank and Leapfrog. So a bad set of abilities um, besides like Bruiser, but having Leapfrog as a discount is really not good. Uh, he does get Spin Cycle. I do have that on him for the review, as I do Bruiser. So let's get into the field and see what he can do. So Eric Diggerson is going to be super expensive and his price is going to maintain for a while because he is an LTD. But he might surprise you like right here catching. I didn't have dropped anything open, nothing like that. And here he is. He can spin as with spin cycle there. You can control the spin a little bit better and he's gone. So he has the speed to really make a defense pay. You can feel his speed, and he's a fast 95. And far as like falling forward, he does pretty well. Uh, he's, of course, because he's got a little more weight and stuff like that. So right there, he's able to truck and not have much momentum, which is nice to see. And uh, if you need a power back up the middle, this could be your guy. He is fun to use. He does get button battles like that and the button battles are pretty common so this card is going to be s tier and i'm gonna let you know where but where does it compare to other top running backs at the end this guy here his juke and spinning feels great his trucking is good his stiff arm is pretty reliable so his moves are pretty good but there is one thing wrong with his moves and that's gonna be a zigzag right his zigzag like change of direction it, it does not feel that good and you're going to see in some of these runs here, I intentionally show you that it, left to right, it doesn't move very well. But people bouncing off him is a thing that happens. It's not the most common thing, but he, he does do pretty well. So this card is definitely going to be good enough to use and definitely good enough to um, buy. But right now, this price, I really can't recommend that. But I'm going to tell you right now, like... He's gonna be good for a long time, but investing in running backs, we get one like every week, right? Like right there is a good example of him trucking and breaking tackles. He's a lot of fun. I would say wait for his price to at least go down to 500K if you're gonna invest him. I said that's what his value is. I um, am gonna get through his report card here so I can break him down a little bit more for you. His report card, fall forward is an A, his moves are A minus. His break tackles at A minus is catching the B plus. Overall, he's an A. Um, you can say his moves are almost an A, not an A minus. I do like this card, but I'm going to show you somebody that's actually better than this card right now, and that's going to be DeMarco Murray. I do like DeMarco Murray better. Uh, as far as being shifty, he's definitely more shifty, and he is faster. So, um, does he break a little bit more tackles than Dickerson? Maybe barely. Uh, but it's not too noticeable, but I say he does. Uh, I still say Murray's the best running back in the game. Now, I do want to compare Dickerson to Earl Campbell real quick. Because I think that's more of a similarity uh, back there. Just, Murray has better abilities. And uh, having like elusive back stuff and power back stuff. But if you look here, I would say Dickerson's a little bit better than Earl. Um, so Dickerson definitely is going to be S tier. You guys have any questions about this card? Let me know down below. Um, I would say if you're a big Dickerson fan, go get him. He's really good. And that's what I'm doing for me, guys. Be kind of a reason to help each other, encourage each other. I'll see you in the next one.